Hey, this is Simsfell and welcome to Niche Orc Clans. This is the Orc Tribe and their story is a brutal one. Throughout time, the Orcs have lived with a bloody tradition. Battle runs thick in their veins and nothing is more proof of this than a son's aging. The time when an Orcling becomes a grown Orc. Fathers challenge their sons to kill the weak or be killed by their strongest successes. Sark is the survivor of one such attack, and after a harrowing tangle with death, escaped his old tribe with the help of a slave girl named Rurag. Now alone, he must make a new life for himself or die at the hands of nature, in an island filled with dangerous predators. Not only that, but Sark must also evade the warriors of his birth clan that have been sent to hunt him down by his enraged father. Now this gameplay will have 10 rules, upon which we will form hopefully an exciting story. Number one, begin with a newly aged male and female. Number two, male is given the title of chieftain and maintains it until a stronger male challenges and kills him. And yes, this involves attacking. Three, chieftains are the only ones allowed to breed but can have multiple mates. Four, Sark does not wish to follow his birth clan's traditions, so he will not challenge his sons. But if a son is stronger than him, then rule two will apply. 5. Male wanderers must be killed. Female wanderers can join the tribe as slaves. 6. Children born to slaves will be free orcs. 7. The first free orc chosen by the chieftain as mate will be the chief queen. She will have special privileges like the right to kill the offspring of any other female. 8. When a female other than the chief queen has a child, its fate will be decided with a dice. If a 1 or a 4 is rolled, then it will be killed. Any other number means its life will be spared. 9. Slaves must be assigned a post depending on their skills, where they can remain permanently to gather food. They cannot explore or clear grass. 10. There is no limit on tribe size as long as food stores are maintained. So guys, this week I am going to be away in LA, but I thought, you know what? Let's bring back Niche and do a fun challenge for the week that I am away. I will have the rules and the backstory down in the description below if you guys would like to try this out on your own. But also do keep in mind that since at least the episodes coming out this week will be pre-recorded, if you guys do have a suggestion and I'm not listening to it in any of the future videos, it's not because I'm ignoring you, it's because it's pre-recorded. But I will be sure to address it all when I come back. Regardless, I hope you lovelies enjoy. So like I said, the male on the right is Sock, and the female on the left is Rurag. The rules are really simple, but I thought this would be a really fun way to jump back into Niche and have a fresh story. Also, returning to the way Niche used to be played before we had sandbox settings. Now, of course, I do have some age modifiers and I'll put them down in the description as well. Basically, our babies uh, are three days, children three days, teens four days, adults 30 days, and pregnancies last three days. So all in all, our nichelings live 40 days, and the reason why I decided to extend their life and not much else was because when we talk about challenges, we mean actual battles. So if they have attacking ability, of course, they are definitely going to try and attack their sons, fathers, intruders, all of those things to actually go ahead and determine who is powerful and strength of course is determined by the amount of attack that a nicheling has. Now Sark was a bit of an omega back in his tribe. As soon as he aged into an adult his father decided to challenge him and luckily with the help of Rurag he managed to escape but his attack is one which is why he was an omega and if Rurag had not helped him he would have died. This here is Sark. He has the letter C to let us know that he is chieftain of his new tribe that he has begun after running away. And he has three collecting, three cracking, two fishing. Rurag also has two um, collecting, three attacks, so she's actually more powerful than him. Which is telling because she's a slave, not even a, a proper orc or a free orc. Uh, three cracking and four fishing. They do have really good fishing ability, so that's super cool. Um, but I had something in my mind and it's kind of escaped me at this moment. Hmm, not the best, not the best. 
but I think I was going to say, oh yeah, so that means that whatever trial they decide to have, they can get started now, whatever trial they decide to have, if he has more attack than Rurag, I mean than Sok, then Sok and he are going to have an actual battle when the child turns into an adult. Now normally in Sark's birth tribe, the way it works is that no matter whether you are stronger than your father or weaker, you will always fight with your father as soon as you turn of age. And that means that a lot of these nichelings will have reduced ages because it'll be, they'll basically be injured and have injuries. So their health will be cut down by many days, which is why I decided to extend the ages. But normally in the birth tribe, the father would always challenge every single son of his. But Sark doesn't want to continue that, so he will only challenge sons that are stronger than him. So there we go. Also means that we might be having the, um, whatchamacallit, we might be having leadership change quite frequently. But okay, without further ado, I do want to go ahead and introduce Rurag. This is our lovely slave girl. Now obviously all her children are going to be free orcs, but she is not going to be chief queen even though she's going to be Sark's first mate because of course she is a slave. And I'm not gonna have different gemstone colors for every single type of nicheling. It's a bit different to the way some of my other challenges work. I am not gonna do much with the colors. Um, more preferably stick to the letters, letter assignments for each of the nichelings, unless I really feel like they have a special role or are a special character and I want to signify that, then I'll change the gemstones. But for the most part, everyone will have yellow gemstones, except for the chief saint who will have purple or magenta to let us know that um, he is the leader. But okay, let's zoom out a little bit and have a look at the island we are on. We are on a grass mingle island. I don't feel as though it matters what sort of island you start on. I kind of like leaving the rules a little bit vague so that we have some creative license with the stories we want to create. But I think this should be pretty exciting. It is a rough place and the idea that all of the wanderers, or at least the male wanderers we come across, are nichelings from Sark's previous tribe who have been sent to hunt him down. And that will probably continue for generations and his birth tribe will probably have like it's just a hatred for him and a, a bit of a vendetta out against him for the rest of his days and maybe even the days of his clan but there we go i don't think i want to waste too much time and i want to get them breeding yeah i think i want to do that because all culture they're gonna fight a lot they're pretty much fighting with everything and anyone they come into contact with so i do want to make sure that we have offspring and even the females are savage, even the females. Now all of Rurag's children born right now are going to be safe until a chief queen comes along. But I don't think Sark is ever going to have a chief queen in this generation because you have to be a free orc in order to go ahead and get that title. But all the females invited into the tribe now are going to be slaves. So none of Rurag or any of the other females, any other of Sark's mates have to worry about their children being killed. In the next generation though, that is definitely going to be a thing. And of course, only the chieftain gets to breed. If he has any other sons, they can't breed. Unless of course they can challenge him and become chieftain, and then it's a completely different case. But okay, let's get started. And look at that, she's expecting straight off the bat. They have very similar genes. They both have, um, Cracker Joe, and then they both have, um, what was it? They have gills in their recessive, so their children might come out very interesting. It's probably good that they're near the water. They can't breathe under water, I think. Let me quickly check. I don't think they can breathe. No, they can't. They can't breathe under water, but they have great water skills. So let's get. We can't build a nest here, but maybe we. Oh, there's a leech. Great. Oh yeah, she is still pregnant for three days, so that's fine, we can wait. I'm gonna get Sark too, there's nothing he can collect. He's gonna jump this way, oh, there is a leech. It's fine, we'll deal with the leech pretty soon, but I think since they do like the water quite a bit, it might be a good idea to settle themselves near here, or even actually make them, yeah, I think they're gonna make their way towards this tree. This island doesn't have too many trees, actually it has a good amount of trees. We're gonna move towards this tree over here because Karakajo jeans and also it's right next to the water so if they want they can just 
dip inside and have a bit of a swim, catch some fish. So let's turn the day. My goodness, it has been a long time since we've played Niche. Over a month, I'm sure you guys will be happy. I think you've missed Niche. I have missed Niche a lot, but uh, I think it's good I took a break. In between, I did want to go ahead and come back in. Uh, I tried setting up a new challenge, but I was just doing it for the sake of doing it and I wasn't having fun, so I gave up the idea. Huh, but then this idea, this challenge came to my mind, and I must say I'm very excited for it. But okay, Rurag, my goodness, my goodness, please don't die. She's not going to, but uh, she probably- <gasps> Was that a rogue? Oh yeah, not to mention the flippin' threat of rogues. Uh, I haven't decided what we're gonna do with rogues and what happens if- I think what we're gonna say is that if they get impregnated by a rogue, then their children are gonna be slaves. I think that's how we're gonna go. Either the children are going to be slaves, or if there is a chief queen, yeah, I think children will be slaves. If there is a chief queen, then she is going to kill them when they're born. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to say. Okay, well, let's get moving. We need to get to the tree before anything else, I think. We want to get to the tree as quick as possible. Did you get- again. Again. Great. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Oh, there's some shells. We want to get to that tree as quick as possible because that's going to be the spot where we get the most food. So we'll do that. And Salk, you need to help out Rurag. I know you're the chieftain, but please keep her leech free for as long as you can. And obviously, wow, geez, like I said, Paradite. And he doesn't have the ability to fight. So is it going to? No, he's going to flee, of course. Uh, let's flee. Get rid of that leech. My goodness. My goodness. Oh, she can have the child? Well, let's jump here by the coast and build a nest. First child is on its way. We have a berry in a nearby. How terrifying. And we don't have a lot of nichelings. My goodness! If Sark decides he could leave to go on a more peaceful island, I don't know how this is going to go. We're just gonna have to see. But we do have a Barina. Ah, maybe we should have gone off to a peaceful island, but I think this is a great place to start because of the fact that, yes, he's just fresh out of a tribe on his own, so no doubt we're gonna have difficulty in trying to establish ourselves and then maybe he's gonna find his way to a peaceful island to a safe spot and have a, a great family over there not too sure we'll have to see but okay let's turn the day oh wow we have a baby we have a little baby okay um, we have a female who has four collecting two fishing two cracking and really not much attack. Now because she's a female, is of no consequence. And I don't think the free orcs need to have any titles or letters or anything like that. We'll let her be. Uh, but in the future, what we'll do is once we start having chief queens, the nichelings next to their titles will have either P's or K's. K's mean kill, so when they grow up they'll be killed. And P's will mean pardoned, so when they grow up, they will be pardoned. And then S, of course, slaves, they're not going to be killed, they can come into the tribe because the chieftain decides their fate. So there we go. Huh, okay, my darling, I need to give you a name. And oh, 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 yeah, I didn't even give mutations to these folks. I don't know if I want to or how that's going to work. If you guys have suggestions, maybe we can implement them in the future. For now, though, I think I'm going to keep them, uh... Mutation free. I think we're gonna keep the mutation free. But let's go ahead and decide an orcish name for our lovely girl over here. She is going to be named, I think, Sikar. Sikar. There we go. Welcome to the family, Sikar. Nice. Okay, let's get. Are you bleeding still? Yes. Okay, Sock. Oh, there was a permanent nest. Let's get you to heal up your mate. She is gonna jump this way, attack, and then you are going to mate with her. She's expectant. Let's grab the food. We don't want a Berina showing up. And yes, no birds overhead, but we are next to the little one, so that should be fine. 
Also, it is kind of stressful that the babies are going to be babies for a while and children and teens. So, uh, maybe it's important for us to get to a more peaceful island before we continue the family anymore. I don't know. We'll have to see. Well, let's turn the day. Also, we haven't had much chance to collect food. Should probably keep an eye on that. Yep, the babies stay on the nests for a while. Okay. Um, let's get you to jump near the tree. Okay, let's get you to jump this way. You want to make sure that you are looking after the baby. Sock. Yep, let's grab a nut and some berries. This is great. We have a lot of resources over here. I could have threw, like, uh, chucked him into the water, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, let's turn the day. Okay, nice little baby Sika is able to move around now. We'll get Rurag to destroy the nest. And I don't think we want to bother the Dodo Mingo. But let's get Sock to grab a nut and a berry. And then maybe clear the grasses over here so we can see a little bit better. If we are threatened, we are going to make a run for this. You know, maybe we should go there, but really, I don't know how many resources we're going to have. It might be a good idea to go ahead and build up some food stores before we decide to make a journey to somewhere else. So, let's see. Oh, she could have actually had the child then, but that's okay. Oh, jeez, here comes the bird. Here comes the bird. Don't you dare try and ruffle our feathers and jump for our child. We will not be having any of that. Thank you very much. Okay, we are going to dive up here. Oh, you're joking. Go away, bird of prey. We don't have enough... Ne what? Okay, no nesting material or not enough nesting material. We could just jump here, but I'm scared that the child's going to be left alone. Oh my goodness. Okay, you have how many moves? You can, you can jump. You can grab some food. Grab some food. And jump. Okay, and now you can jump in here. There we go. We solved that problem quite well. Nice. And then, oh, little family. Everything's going okay so far, but so far. I'm so terrified that Berina is going to rock up over here. And also, we need a son. We need to be having sons. If any female wanderers want to come along, then feel free, please. Feel free to come along. Let's turn the day. <gasps> Twins! Oh my goodness, yes. We needed twins. Twin sons on top of that. Twin sons, I tell you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting way too excited. We have a one attack and a four attack. Okay, so the golden one on the left is not going to challenge his father or have to battle his father when he's older, but the one on the right is going to have to battle his father when he's older. There we go. Okay, they both need names. So let's go ahead and name the handsome male on the right first. He is going to be called, we had a really cool orchid name, look at how he looks, he looks so awesome. I love his coloration and the green eyes. Okay, we are going to name him Rock. Uh, okay, we're going to name him Rock and his twin brother is going to be called, he looks so cute as well. Okay, his twin brother is going to be called, um, Nognash. No, I don't like that name. Hmm. Lurag. Lurag. After his mother, Lurag. So, Lurag. There you go. Rock and Lurag. Nice. Okay, we have our two males. And Sika, I want you to be safe. But this is proving a little bit difficult. Ah, okay. Let's get you to jump down this way then. And you can mate. There we go. Why don't you jump next to your siblings? Your parents have an easier time looking after you. Jump this way. And then Sock can return to the tree. <gasps> oh my goodness! I thought he, I thought the bird took, took our child for a second. Okay, wasn't the case. I thought Sikar was a goner. Whew. Okay, we are fine, everyone. We are completely fine. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about over here. Oh my goodness, that was terrifying. But we have managed to grow our family to five. Now, Orc Tribe to five. We have 21 food, nine nesting material. Just as well, we have a permanent nest over here. Otherwise, we would kind of be screwed. Gathering grass is important, but I think 
what Sock would want to focus on, especially given the amount of dangers we have here. This place just looks terrifying. I think he wants to gather as many resources as possible and hopefully encourage his family to bolt for these happy lands, the place with the flowers. I think that's what we want. But guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.